Edward, Gordon, and Henry. say hello and Gordon would say serves you right uh, Henry had nursed the answer his hair had gone out soot and dirt from the tunnel roof had spoiled his lovely paint Green paint with red stripes. He was cold and unhappy. He was feeling nervous, sad, and wanted to come out and pull trains too. He never would. Gordon always pulled the express. He was ever proud of being the only engine strong enough to do it. There were many people in the curtsies. They were heavy when they got to them. There were some unimportant people that the Fed tractor would punish Henry. Gordon was seeing how fast he could go. Hurry, 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 he panted. Check it a chalk, check it a chalk, check it a chalk, check it a chalk, said the coaches. Gordon could see Henry's tunnel in front. In a minute, he thought, I'll go. <whistles> At Henry, then rushed through and out into the daylight again. Closer and closer he came. He was almost there when crack, crack. He was in a kind of steam. And having slurber and slurber. His driver stopped the train. <coughs> <coughs> what has happened to me? Asked Gordon. He feels so weak. You burst your safety valve, said the driver. You can't pull the train anymore. Oops! Oh! Oh! Oops! Oh! Uh, said Gordon. We were giving him nicely too. Look at Henry. He's laughing at me. Gordon made a face at Henry and spoke at him. Stop it! Everybody got out and came to Gordon. Mm, said the fat tractor. I never let this big engines always go in wrong. Send for another engine at once. All the gun went in one and uncoupled Gordon and ran him on his heading out of the way. The only engine left in the shed was Edward. I'll come and try, he said. Gordon saw him coming. It's no use, he said. Edward can't pull the train. Edward puffed and pulled and pulled and puffed. 
but you couldn't move the heavy Richard. Richard, sir, said Gordon rudely. We'll not let Henry have a try. Yes, said the fat tractor, I will. We have told this child, Henry, he asked. Oh, yes, said Henry, at once. Said Gordon's driver, when five minutes is fire, some plight lies poked down the wall and put back the rails. And when Henry had steam up, it puffed out. Dirty. Bonner was black and his was covered with cobwebs. Oh, hips are stiff. Oh, hips are stiff. He curled. He better have a run to ease of joints and find a turntable, said the fat track to kindly. Henry came back feeling uh, better and they put him in front. <whistles> I'm ready, said Edward. <whistles> said Henry, so may pull hard, pull hard, pull hard. Laughed Edward, we'll do it, we'll do it. Laughed Henry, pull hard, we'll do it. Pull hard, we'll do it. They puffed together. The heavy curtains jerked and began to move slowly, fast and faster and faster. We've done it together, we've done it together, we've done it together said Edward and Henry, you've done it hooray, you've done it hooray, you've done it hooray, you've done it hooray. So the coach says, all the passengers are excited. The fat tractor leaned out of the window. It's waved Henry and Edward. But the train's hurrying so fast, it is head off into a field. I can't hit it for this tear. They never stopped till they came to the big station at the end of the line. Passengers all got out and said thank you. And the fit tractor promised Henry a new coat of paint. Would you like to be blue and red? Yes, please, said Henry, and I'll be like Edward. Edward and Henry went home quietly, and on the way, they helped Gordon back to the shed. All three engines are now great friends. Wasn't Henry pleased when he had his new coat? He's ever proud of it, as all good engines are. But he doesn't mind the rain now, because he knows that the best way to keep his paint is nose is to not run to tunnels, but to ask his driver to rub him down when the day's work is over. That way, he would never make one small mistake ever, ever again.